Okay. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You Piss. killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. I don't Back know about to that. Tears Temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Here's one thing I'll say. Why that was one of the Bulletin coolest. Must have uh, convinced him that following you to Jotunheim mm. would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir Probably magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Yeah. This fight, that was that was one of the coolest boss fights. Like that's that's pretty up there. It's like one of my favorite boss fights ever now. Now it will not talk my favorite boss fight in any video game ever is against Psycho Mantis in the PS1 version of Metal Gear Solid. That will remain my all time favorite for probably forever. Because it was just so awesome. This one's pretty fucking cool too though. But I do have one criticism of it. And that's that they should have had him get hit by the mistletoe at the very end. Like, 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 like when he, like, when they're on the ground right here, and he has his hands around his throat, and then, like, he, you know, he's talking to Freya. It should have been around that point that he gets hit with a mistletoe. Because, like, he got hit with a mistletoe towards the beginning, and yet, like, the first fight in the beginning of the game <clears throat> was, like... Both fights were similar, but in the first fight he was invulnerable, this time he was vulnerable, but it made, like, no fucking difference. Like, gameplay-wise. Like, I, I don't like that. Like, it should have been, like, the mistletoe, like, like without the mistletoe, that... Not, in this, okay, not necessarily that he's weak, but, like, it made no difference whether or not he was vulnerable. Like... He still got, like, beat the shit out of it, it didn't matter. I don't know. I don't like that. But the fight as a whole, I liked. I enjoyed it. Let's see. But that was the completed boss fight. The first, That was the second one, so that loose end's tied up. I feel like Freya is now going to be like the main... If we don't see Freya again in this game, I'm pretty sure the next God of War game, Freya will be like the main okay. villain. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Freya end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last, she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. But still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. Well, this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lied. Would I? She. Huh. Well, something tells me that when we get to Jotunheim, the, you know, I I would say that like that I'm close to the end of the game that Jotunheim will be like pretty much the end, which it, which it will be the end, 
But like, I'm pretty damn sure there's gonna be a lot of bullshit in Jotunheim we're gonna do first. Cause this game loves to pat itself out. Alright. That is not where we're supposed to go. I don't think. Or maybe it is. Maybe it just doesn't matter. Okay. Something tells me I just took the long way around. So once again, like I said earlier, I hope Jotunheim lives up to its, uh, what it's supposed to be. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? No, actually. Because I'm not doing that yet. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants! Well, if things weren't according to the plan, <coughs> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. We'll see. We'll see how big these motherfuckers are. Vandenheim, I don't give a fuck. Huh. God damn it. Alright. What the- wait, so what's Vandenheim then? Boy, go ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. <laughs> nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Looks shitty to me, honestly. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. What, are these guys bad guys? All of a sudden? Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. Huh. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. I feel like there's more to it, though. I feel like he doesn't want to go to Jotunheim for a particular reason. I can't run. Huh. Such an atmosphere. I said it looks shitty before, now it looks heavenly. It's a big ass staircase, Jesus Christ. Are we already on the highest Look, peak? We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. Oh. We did it. Well, that was quick. Hmm. So you barely get to see any of Jotunheim. Oh, that's all right.
What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. I don't understand the significance. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. I'm surprised they didn't break after all that shit. Even if it's not glass, even if it's like some kind of like leathery pouch, you figure some of the ashes would have fallen out at least. Maybe not. I don't know. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Wait, why would you think that? You only heard him once in Alfheim. Well, a few times in Alfheim. Hello? Anybody here? I would announce that if I were you. What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. That's my first deal on. Hopefully the last. This place is dead. What happened? The dream of Midgard. Midgard was a dream of what could be if we shared and collaborated. Those names. And mortals most of all. It was beautiful. But not everybody is capable of sharing. Some people with anything controllable is savage and threatening. And so we were mocked and tricked and used and slaughtered. Odin and his tribe were barred from our realm but it was not enough. The wrath of Thor and his terrible hammer of thinned out number in Midgard to the brink of ruin. There is no option but the withdrawal and yet to win or no Okay, so those guys were all assholes. One question is answered and two more take its place. Oh no, cutscene time. Something's happening. It's your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... New giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But huh? how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain, the stone mason, all these drawings. This is our story. So what's oh. next? This is your story. But what does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. Huh. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to find me. He 
was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. What's next, though? Yes. Yes, we are. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Does that mean Kratos is going to die and it's going to be Atreus next? The next God of War having to deal with Freya's wrath? Look. It's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. I assume giants can see the future? Let's finish it. All right. <laughs> but are, really, are we really not going to see a single giant? Oh, well, I guess that answers my question. Fuck those guys. Yeah, those guys are giants is for sure. Fuck. Are they dead or sleeping? Father? No. We do it together. Son. Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Hmm, he's in Marvel. Loki. But I don't know a damn thing about him. That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Now I'm gonna look up who Loki is just so I can know. what she wanted us to see? Did oh. she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. This marks the first time I've ever seen a oh, video so game where the credits start during gameplay. 
I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. Who here missed it? Ha! I guess that's the end of it then. Okay, I'll go there. Oh, what the shit? Oh. I understand if you want to go home, but I bet there are still some corrupted Valkyries out there that could be set free. <laughs> some other help people. Maybe helping people was part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? I get it, Atreus. What, what, it's a fourth wall break saying, you know, you beat the game, but there's still side quests to That's do. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Well, it's not really a fourth wall break. In universe, it means nothing, but. Oh, no. Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Lemire? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Explore with the trees. Can you explore and complete ship free dragons traveled? Okay. Valkyries revealed. Locations of Almond revealed in your map. Oh. So this game doesn't even have like a regular... Okay. New Game Plus allows you to start with maintaining your equipment. Well, yeah, of course it does. Oh, okay. So this game doesn't just go to the main menu. The game's just done. Alright. Well, I will do the side quests. At least some of them. Um, but I guess I'll actually do this do the review for this game now. In gameplay. So... I was unnecessarily harsh on it for the uh, difficulty curve because that was my own ineptitude that made that happen. The combat I like. Every time it gets old, well, like, it doesn't get old, but like, every time you get used to it, it, they add more to it. The story, the main driving force of Scattering the Ashes I felt was a bit underwhelming compared to the rest of it, but overall I like the story. You go to some good realms except for Alfheim, fuck Alfheim. Um, yeah, Freya's gonna, Freya's definitely going to be in the next God of War game. It's probably going to come out next generation of consoles. Um, I will say overall that I did enjoy this game. Yeah. And you know what? I take back what I said previously about, you know, not playing the next God of War. Because, you know, that was my fuck up. So you know what? If, when the next game, God of War game comes out, I probably will play it. Don't know about right away, but I think I probably will play it. Is there anything else? I know it's a really short review, but... Uh, the boss fights are pretty damn badass. Especially Baldur's. Honestly, th those boss fights, like, were some of the best parts of this fucking game. Dude, there were, what, three of them? Although the second one was really more of a cutscene than actual gameplay. Yeah, no, there's not really anything else. 
Um, if I see, if I think of something else, like maybe while I'm editing this or something, I'll put it in there. But as of right now, this is it. So, despite the fact that this is still gameplay, um, you know, I'll pause it. That way, at least looks like it's uh That way, at least looks like it's the end. So, yeah, this has been God of War PS4. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and sign out. See you. So just like other games I've done that are open world or semi-open world, such as Dying Light or the Tomb Raider trilogy, I'm going to be doing some side quests now. Now just as in Tomb Raider, my intention, I'm not going to do them all. I'm not going to do them all. My intention is to do somewhere between three and five side quests. Um, the first one I'll do will be a Valkyrie. Those are already ma marked on the map. The second one will probably be that one dude, whatever, merchant guy that Brock wanted. If, if I can find that one. I'll probably do the second one. The third one will probably be the dude who, like... He, he, was on, he was on a river and he wanted you to, like, find his bones or some shit like that. That'll probably be the third one. And then a fourth and fifth one might be done after that too, but I'm not sure. We'll see. For now though, the... What the hell? Oh, right. I'm still in yoga. Um, for now though, the... Uh, Valkyries will be marked on the map. So I will make a cut now to when I get to the Valkyrie, which is the first side quest. Okay. Time to face this Valkyrie. This is actually one that I went into a little bit, but didn't go too far into because, well, I wanted to see it for now. So, here it is. <gasps> so it's just this statue-looking thing in the center, right? Well, not the center, but... Center margined. Holy shit! Yeah, no shit. So how do I fight this thing? Oh my god! Got any bright ideas from the Atreus or you're only gonna tell me shit when I already know? Fuck! I just put together, um, you just saw what I did against the Valkyrie in there. Now I did not show myself beating the Valkyrie. And there's a very simple answer to why that is. I didn't beat the Valkyrie. Um, I died to the Valkyrie 25 times. 
the most I took its health down, I think it was halfway, one of the attempts. And um, I'm giving up on beating the Valkyrie. I, I thought the Valkyrie said something. I'm giving up on beating it for two reasons. <clears throat> Reason number one is that the ward, like, okay, like, I, I actually looked up on the internet what the rewards are for, for beating a Valkyrie. And the reason why is I figured that, getting, that beating the Valkyrie would be similar to the Tomb Raider side quests, which is a pretty much you just kind of get shit that does, you don't really need anymore. And that's exactly what it is. You get shit you don't really need anymore unless you do a new game plus. While I may do a new game plus, I won't be putting it on here. Um, if I do. Which makes the rewards frivolous to me. Not only that, but I, I what, how many times I, I think 23, 25 times, something like that, is what, how many times I've died to the Valkyrie here. Um, considering the fact that I've straight up died hundreds of times on two specific occasions um, in this game already, I do not feel like dying a few hundred times again um, on a boss that's not even necessary to the plot, honestly. So, I'm done with it. And you know, in case you're curious about how, how I can die hundreds of times as one boss, <clears throat> um, both of them were in similar ways, but I'll use the Frost Giant as the example, the, the, the Frost thingy, ancient. The reason I died a hundred, what was it, like 80 something times I think? The reason I died as many times as I did on that, that dude, like, it wasn't like an arduous battle every time. In fact, mo like most of the time what would happen is either um, I would try to fight it and it would, just, like, it would just kill me like in one hit with its laser beam. That happened a lot. Or um, I would throw the uh, things at the ceiling to make them fall down and it would miss the, uh, the, the frost ancient thing every time. That happened for a lot of attempts. So I'm just like, you know, like, I, I died to that boss like a hundred and something times, which that's true, I, I really did. But like, not one of the attempts, except for I think the last attempt, yeah, the, the, except for the last attempt, no attempts except for the last one lasted longer than, I don't know, what, 45 seconds? Maybe one minute? Like, they were all pretty quick. They were, it wasn't like an arduous battle where each attempt took like five minutes, no, no, no. They were all very quick. Um, and it was the same way with the other one, you know, the, the place like where you have to break the chains or whatever it was. When I died the few several, the several hundred times on that one, um, how many times I died on that one, I forget now. But that was a similar story. Um, I would either die pretty quickly because the enemies would just attack me. Like, like I'd be fighting the one and the one with the shield would just come out of nowhere and kill me in one hit. Um, or... The first dude would just kill me anyway. Or the fire would fuck me and I'd die anyway. Like, that that one wasn't arduous either. Um, as far as each attempt goes. But, yeah, since, and considering the fact that I don't have to beat this fucking boss, this enemy, I have no intention to because I don't care for dying over a hundred times again. This is the one and only time where I've ever played a game where I've died in the triple digits to a single enemy. Or, I guess, to a single part. So, with that being said, the Valkyrie is now... Well, I'm, I'm done with it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transition immediately right here. Whatever. Oh, you know, one interesting thing, too. No, I'm, I'm not including any of it because this is just a side quest thing. But, like... They're adding, like, they're actually adding a lot more to the lore, like, post-main game, dude. Like, Atreus is asking Mimir a lot of questions, and there's a lot of interesting tidbits. God. Maybe it'll happen on camera, too. We'll see. Look here. Hold on. Let me read this. Here's some new lore. There are things that are like a lot of places. Yep. Alright. So this side quest 
is all about finding Brock's buddy. Or his body, maybe. I don't know. At this point, he could just be a cadaverous motherfucker for all I know. Ah, well, there's Brock. So what the fuck? For something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. Yeah, no shit. The door fucking open. So, Brock said his friend was dwarven like him. Yes. Wearing a green ring. Yes. Look if you wish. I will be gathering resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not run errands for dwarves. Oh. Well, it's unfortunate you should say that because I am actually running an errand for a dwarf right now. Oh no. That's a soul eater. If that kills us, that's it. No Valhalla, no hell, no afterlife, ever. It does not attack. Oh. Mom made them sound more dangerous than that. Ha! Then do not drop your guard. Come. Well, at least he was docile. Oh no, it's not. Uh, we're gonna have to fight that soul leader though, aren't we? Oh no. Atreya! It's the ring! On that severed hand! Attached to the Soul Eater. Well, we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. I agree. No Let's do it. it. I agree. No, we will fight it. But why? The fuck because are you? Because you are frightened of it. The fuck? Are, God damn it! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fight the Soul Eater. If I die a bunch of times, like I did with the frost one, then I'm gonna say fuck it, and I'm just gonna go to the next side quest. Yes, that will mean there's two side quests in a row that I didn't complete, but guess how many fucks I give. Cause I'm sick and tired of fighting bosses and dying to them hundreds of fucking times. I'm tired of it. Atreus, please get in my way. And besides, there's still that one more side quest, too. What? Son of a bitch. Hopefully. Well, the next one will be fighting the dude's bo Ugh, bones. So I'll see you then. Well... Scratch that last one. So, the Bones one apparently is in multiple locations. And I just don't, at least as of right now, I don't feel like going to get all of them. So what's going to happen is, um, if I feel like going on that scavenger hunt for the Bones, then I'll go ahead and do it. If not, like before I edit this thing. If not, then I won't. And, uh, and this video... We'll have had absolutely no progress made, but I will still put it up anyway, because what what I did get done on these side quests will at least be up. So, for now, this is it, unless I uh, decide to do that side quest. Yeah. Any whore, goodbye and good night.